Press it down. Cool cue, extend through the blade. And take it behind you. And back. Hands forward, head side to side. If your neck has never been injured and you know it's a good thing, you can go all the way around. Lightly, both ways. Let your head hang. Let it pull your body all the way over. Straighten your legs without locking your knees. Bend your knees, let go of your hands, roll up by taking your knees over your toes. Knees over your toes. Watch me from the side. Look at this. So what you're wanting is when you're hanging over and your legs are straight, but your knees are not locked, your knees are slightly out, you just move your unlocked knees over your toes. That changes your hips and it rolls you up. So just roll out and to the side in a very relaxed kind of way. So totally take the muscle out of your hands. They're just hanging. Hey, Jeremy. Reach and go around in a circle. Reach your hands as far as you can from your center. Cover your front foot. There you go. Well. Okay, now come back to the tree again. Okay, everybody face the tree. And Nino Bokin Sabuti. Okay. Imagine you're gonna play a gig and you have three hours ahead of you. I have to trip a lot. I mean, oh. And then hold the bulk end like you'd hold the neck. So it's more of a full contact. It can't escape. It's not gonna slide sort of deal. So your finger. Put it in the place that's most advantageous. Like if it were a sledgehammer, right? This would get exhausting really fast. So you want boom, bah, with a sledgehammer. Starts like two, cuts down, skis on the same side. Well, like number five, to the other side, sidestep, skis on the same side. Bump, 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 Ski to the left. Yes? Questions? Feels that I'm that I'm doing that, that I'm pulling. But remember, we're not a sword style. So we're not actually, we're not adjusting for pulling a weapon out of somebody because we're never gonna cut anything with a wooden sword. The point is what your body does, the point is how your body does the movement so you can discard the weapon and it's all about what your body's doing. And so we're gonna get with a partner. Bump, bump. Do that three times. Go, back and forth, in place. So you go that way, I went this way, you go that way. Bump, 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 uh, yon. Bump, 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 bump. So you're back to the right foot forward, and then go. So that way, you're starting to get an idea of what it's like to relate to somebody else. You do it three times, you're back to the right side forward. And then go ahead from there, two, Nino. You're gonna go the other direction. You're like, a, uh, yeah, instead of being an actual mirror, you're gonna duplicate what he's actually doing. So as he goes back that way, you go back that way. Yeah! There you go, go ahead and go back. And then come back in and cut down. Shoop, nice. Again. And one more time. Okay. Alrighty. Rather than one, two, Right, they don't they don't keep their body together in the same place. I want to go bum bum instead of I want to go one two because it 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 commits me 
without letting me, without making me choose which foot I'm going to put my balance in. So I, if, if my appropriate stance is as wide as I can lift one foot or the other and not let my head wobble, right, then what I want is to reestablish that as soon as possible. So I, I pull myself into my forward foot and bring my back foot up so I can again have choice between my feet anytime I want it. Does that make sense? So we, we take long steps, but there's always a so that we're back in this position again. So it's not this, it's this distance, which is a little bit more than shoulder width for me. Right? It depends on what your structure is like. You want to make sure that you can lift one foot or the other simply by shuttling your weight so that when you do this, it doesn't make your head do that. Bokken Saburi. Yon no boken subui. Go no boken subui. Rokuno. 